are in Venice uh, again. Obviously, you saw my thing yesterday. I'm um, in our Airbnb. I am making some breakfast behind me. Um, we're having eggs and coffee. Dan already made the coffee, and I'm just gonna make the eggs and some bread. Eggs going on with the. And I don't think it was Spanish, but it's. I don't know. Anyway, and then some toast in my pan. <laughs> Having breakfast now. I definitely loved the cruise and loved all the food <laughs> and drinks, but I I completely overate and like you know every morning I would have my eggs and bread, which is healthy and what I usually have. But then I didn't obviously need a cinnamon bun and waffle with. Um, caramel sauce and bananas. They were delicious and I enjoyed every bite of it. But yeah, now I'm kind of getting back into my swing of eating normally. Now we still are on vacation. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how much I weigh when I get home. One of the pair of shorts that I brought, it was like a little snug when I left, but I tried everything on and it fit. Um, it just wasn't loose. Um, no, now I can't even do them up. So, yeah, but I look back, I'm like, I had a dessert for breakfast. I sometimes had a dessert, yeah, I probably had dessert for lunch, I had ice cream, and I always had a dessert for dinner. My body's not used to having dessert three to four times a day, so. But hopefully, yeah, I worked so hard to lose that 25 pounds, so I don't want to gain it all back um, in like two weeks of honeymoon. But anyway, so just having this, and then we're going to go explore. We wanted to get up a little bit earlier. It's probably like 8 o'clock, just after 8 now. Yeah, 8.05. I was hoping to be out and about already at 8, um, whereas we're only having breakfast right now. Um, but that's okay. It's still our, our first day, so... Basically, I just didn't want it, things to be too crowded as well as too hot. So we're going to go early, but hmm, my hair actually looks nice and straight right now. I just washed it, but I'm drying it a little bit so it's easier to like um, do my little braid thing or twist. But I actually look cute like this too. <laughs> Anyways. So it's actually raining right now. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah, there we go. So perhaps we will not be leaving right now, unless, I, we didn't bring an umbrella, do you think there's an umbrella here? <laughs> it stopped raining and Dan has made a game plan for us. Um, we're doing kind of a self-guided two hour walking tour. Um, so what are we gonna be seeing? So we are there. We're gonna walk across to St. Mark's, Mark's, the Ducal Palace, yeah. Bridge of Sighs, I'm going to go over to the arsenal, arsenal okay. fortified area where the Venetians made their war fleets. Okay. And we're going to go over to the Rialto mm. Bridge, mm. right there. Okay, that's the big one that we went under. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. And then back. It's nice, we're taking things at a nice slow pace compared to all our short excursions. So I think we're in the opposite direction where the arsenal is, but we just wanted to explore the park a bit. Huh. It's definitely nice just, yeah, taking things in. <laughs> You can get a boat over to the, there, that part, but it only starts at 11. It starts going back and forth, and it's only like 9 now or 2 early. So we will just turn around, go back where we came from, and 
yeah, we can always, we're here for three more days, so we can always choose to come back later. Right now there's also the Venice Biennial Art Exhibition going on, so I think there's a lot of exhibits over there as well. We're back at St. Martin's. It's so much more busy now. 10.30. We made it to the busy course, Rialto Bridge. apartment we are gonna go out again later we did organize a or I signed up for an Airbnb experience tour um, so similar to one that we did in Rome so this one is a two-hour walking tour and it takes you to places um, instead of like the other one where it was like the super tourist places this one takes you to places that's more in the eyes of a local so and all the reviews left for the person said yeah it was really um, like seeing Venice from a local's perspective not um, going to the super popular busy tourist spot so that's that should be pretty exciting so it's two hours from five to seven um, so it's probably it's kind of early afternoon now um, so we're gonna just relax a little bit it is although it's not full sun it's very clammy and humid um, and then again we're just we're still not used to it um, so relaxing a little bit we are gonna meet the um, Airbnb host um, because she wasn't there to meet us yesterday it was someone else um, but she'll be back today and so just to welcome us and give us some pointers and yeah so we get to meet her too and it's raining again I can't see it too much but it is so we're gonna stay in a little bit longer <laughs> Um, but then we have our tour this afternoon at 5, so we're going to go out a little bit early and walk around. There don't seem to be any umbrellas. Now we can go buy one ourselves, but it seems kind of pointless to buy an umbrella because we're clearly not going to take an umbrella home with us. We're wanting to pack it, so we could just get it and leave it here, but no, no rain. Thankfully we are here for three days, otherwise if we were only here like a day and a half, we'd probably just be going out in the rain regardless, but don't like rain. I was gonna, we were gonna do a beach day tomorrow, so hopefully it's a lot better weather tomorrow, but we'll see. All right, so we're gonna start heading out. We are meeting the Airbnb experience host, I guess tour host, um, outside the train station. However, when we were at the train station last and like trying to find where we were going, it was a stressful situation. Um, and we took the Vaporetto, the bus, because we had our big suitcases, but it's just as fast to walk. Um, and since we don't have suitcases today, we're gonna walk. We're leaving about an hour and a half earlier, but we're also just gonna explore kind of our way because when we explored today, we didn't go that route. We went kind of all over, but a different way. So now we're gonna kind of sneak a different way and yeah, make our way to the train station area. Let's start wandering down. We were gonna have a gelato on the way, but it's kind of chilly. I changed into capri pants um, instead of my short because it's not really that warm. It's still humid, so I don't think I'm gonna wear a sweater, but it's chillier than I thought. You were so hot. I know, I was warm this afternoon. We made it to the train station area and yeah, we're meeting kind of on the side of a bridge, our host. We got here about 15 minutes to spare, so we have some time, but yeah, we're gonna meet her and then I'll show you everything we see. We're back from our tour as well as meeting our Airbnb host. Um, the tour was really good. There was a lot of or a bit of confusion ahead of time um, because I don't have data on my phone. I just go by Wi-Fi um, and we headed out 
early um, and on the Airbnb app it said the meeting place was this and this place and then at 4.30 she sent um, a message through the Airbnb app saying oh we're meeting at this place but we had already left um, and I once we're out of the Airbnb, I don't have access to Wi-Fi unless you go like to a restaurant. Anyway, which then we eventually, yeah, we got <laughs> turned on data. But so we waited at the spot where I thought we were and we couldn't find her. And then it was like five minutes later and I'm like, you'd think the host would be earlier, you know? Um, so yeah, finally, and then I, we were supposed to meet somewhere else. And then it was this big thing, but they, the group came to us um, and it all went well. I felt really bad because I wasted half their, or like half an hour of their tour, but really they, she still was talking. Um, so they still had a tour. It was just, we lost about half an hour, but I think she did. We ended up staying for, instead of ending at seven, we ended at 7.15. Um, so yeah, we saw a lot of cool places that are kind of off the beaten path, not like the most touristic places, but it was really interesting to see um, all of the things and that, um, like authentic Venetian mask place that was so neat so I'm definitely gonna go back or we're definitely gonna go back because I want one of the comedy and tragedy masks for my office at home or no no I was gonna get one of those for my office at work or my teeth in my classroom and then I was gonna get a small one to give to my um, colleague for saving it for Christmas I think I'll do that one small ones um, and then Dan liked one of the weird masks <laughs> the one you tried on is that the one you wanted? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's the, the one, you, one, the traditional one. Um, and then I want one maybe a little bit more pretty <laughs> for my office at home, or we could put it downstairs in the mantle. But we decided, and I mean, those ones aren't super expensive, but we decided we want to get something like a gift for ourselves from our honeymoon that we can look back on like a, I don't know, that's something that we can look back on and that's not just like, I got, you know, the magnet, the mugs, or the little touristy things, but something a little, a little bit more value or importance. When we were on our tour um, in Naples, or no, yeah, Naples, and did that, we went to a place that did like inlaid wood, um, and those were really cool, and we were kind of looking at a mantelpiece clock, but we didn't really like any of the faces, and they didn't even say the price. I'm guessing it was like a couple hundred euros. I don't know. So we figured if we would were to spend that much money on something, we want to love it. So we ended up not getting it. But um, yeah, we would be interested in getting something that we can look back on years down the road and be like, we picked that up on our honeymoon in Italy. Uh, but we haven't found it. But we are going to go to Murano, um, the island of Murano tomorrow, where they do all the Venetian glass blowing. Um, so maybe we'll see something there. But I do like the masks. But Dan chose, is choosing a creepy one, a traditional but creepy. Um, but no, that store was really cool. We got to try things on a lot of the mask stores that I've looked at or we've walked by. Um, they have like no photos, uh, which is, makes sense. But this, the the woman, you know, she was like, oh, try this on, you know, hold it up to your face. Um, you can touch them, pick them up. Um, they're all made out of paper mache, so they're very durable. So she said, yeah, for, yeah. so we're gonna go back. We got a little card um, because yeah, I really want two comedy trashy masks as well as well. So now, yeah, we met with the Airbnb host, so nice, um, answered a lot of questions. We were just, yeah, just some questions. And now we are going to go for having some dinner. We did have the little snacky bite um, and I got like a vegetable one, whereas they got, what did you have, cod and squid? Yeah, the squid had little tentacles ugh, on the little crostini breads, as well as wine. So that was actually nice. That was included in the cost of the tour as well. So that was really awesome. Um, yeah, it was yeah it was a really good tour, and I I feel bad for mm, not having a start on time, but everywhere we went was really good. Um, and there was one church that we may go back to, the one that had like the largest canvas thing. Was it in Europe or the world? Hmm, one of them. Anyways, um, yes, we're gonna go for dinner today. And our Airbnb host said we came the perfect time because on the 20th and 21st, um, now we fly out on the 21st, so we'll miss the 21st, but it is the, what is it called? Tr Festa del, so it marks the yearly anniversary of the end of the plague in 1577? 
something like that. Anyways, so kind of right by us. They have, they build a bridge from this island to, I'm so bad at my landmarks, but one of the other islands that you can walk across, um, like 330 meters or something, feet. Hmm. Anyways, um, that you can walk across. We're gonna do that. Um, oh, Redentore, um, as well as there's a fireworks display on Saturday night, but that's at 11.30. And our host is like, oh, but you know, you guys are young, you wanna see, and I'm thinking, 11.30 is really late. But the bridge, the like bridge on top of all the boats opens at 7.30 on Saturday. So we're definitely gonna do that, cause that's, yeah. But she said it's gonna be crowded. She says people all over Europe uh, well, all over, well, all over Venice, definitely, but then all over the world come for the, that two-day um, festival. So, very busy. We didn't even plan that, but that's that's really cool. So, we didn't even know, but that's going to be our Saturday evening. Um, but yeah, so right now we are going to go have some food for dinner. Mm -hmm. so this is the island here that the bridge is going to go across. And you go walking up to that. Whoa, that table by the water. Well, mine definitely looks interesting. And you got what? Anchovies with olives? Olives and That was really good. It was my first authentic Italian pizza. And the crust was like so thin, very tasty, which is like, yeah, at home they're not like that. So, oh, that's good. So now we're just ooh, walking back to our apartment. Still don't know what this flavor is. I think cherry and then got lemon again. Back at our Airbnb. We're already getting ready for bed. I think Dan's asleep. Maybe I'll sleep, but in bed already. I am just gonna upload my photos um, to my computer, my video clips. My phone doesn't have a lot of storage and already halfway during the day today, I got like the storage full. So I had to delete a whole bunch of videos, but yeah, so yeah, thankfully I put on computer. So tomorrow we are going to be going to Murano Island and looking at the glass blowing and all of that. And then we're probably going to take a gondola ride tomorrow, which I know is super expensive. It's 80 euros during the day and 100 euros in the evening. However, it's our honeymoon. It's worth it just for the experience. And again, this is our first and I, mean, I don't want to say last time, but you know, realistically, we're probably not going to go to Venice anytime soon again. So we want to experience that. Yeah. It's a busy day again tomorrow, and actually today wasn't that busy. However, we did 19.2 kilometers and about 28,000 steps or something. 20 something, 25,000 maybe. But yeah, 19.8 kilometers of walking. That's pretty good. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.